Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a Monday edition of Wake Up With Al. A little bit different. We are here in beautiful Tampa, Florida at George M. Steinbrenner Field, the spring training home for the New York Yankees. I'm here for a Today Show story. I am trying out for the Yankees. Yes, tragically, the entire team was locked in a closet, and so I'm all they've got. Uh, our partner Stephanie Abrams is back in New York. Steph, I got to tell you, I know you're a Floridian. There is something just very magical and exciting about being yeah. on this field, uh, uh, you know, the, the home of legends here for spring training. Al, are you going to wear the stripes? And what are you most concerned about with your training? Well, uh, both, both uh, actually, they both are uh, uh, related. Actually, I am going to be wearing the Yankee pinstripes. And does that uniform make me look fat? Uh, and I think the answer is going to be yes. <laughs> All no, right, let's get it's, started it lengthens with our you out. The stripes now, <laughs> they're going down, not horizontal. So you're good to go. You're going to yeah, look great. We'll see. We'll see how that works out. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Steph. Hey, let's get started with our top three. First of all, uh, remnants of Triton. We've got rain down south for Nashville, Atlanta, New Orleans. We're going to be looking at some heavy rain uh, uh, up to an inch or more in some sections. Up to the north, Triton bringing snow to Green Bay, Cedar Rapids, and Chicago. And behind Triton, we're talking about all the cold air that's going to be coming in. So I hope you enjoyed that warmer stuff. Bismarck, Minneapolis, and Des Moines, because it is coming for you. All right, what's going on right now? Let's go back to New York and step. All right, so what we are dealing with is rain and snow, actually, with Triton. And the people that will see the most snow is the UP of Michigan. As we take you down into Detroit, it's rain for you. Our temperatures are too warm here. And as you can see into the afternoon hours, basically topping out right around 50 degrees. So here is that snow I was talking about into the UP of Michigan. That's where we will see the most of it. Otherwise, it's going to be very much on the light side here throughout the Midwest. You can see down towards uh, Minnesota, also Iowa, we're seeing a little bit of snow snow one to three inches not too big of a deal and more towards Des Moines this snow is going to be heading eastbound as well so here's our forecast as we head through Wednesday morning the UP as I mentioned you get all those brighter colors Wisconsin also into lower Michigan one to three three to five you can totally handle that as we head throughout the day today, this low is going to move east. Behind it, colder air is going to get pulled in. So as this thing moves eastbound, for instance, in the northeast tomorrow, it'll be warm and rainy. And then after that, temperatures are going to drop some 10 degrees. Look at 50 in Detroit and the 40s behind it. So you can really see the difference ahead and behind it. Chicago, it's really a rainstorm mix for you, though you do actually have um, the potential for flooding as we head through the day today with snow melt and also with the rain coming in. So be careful for that if you're in one of those flood prone areas. Now, let's talk about the southern half of the storm and show you where we will see the rain. New Orleans, you're going to see the showers through the morning hours. We clear up because everything is shifting eastbound. OK, so keep that in mind. New Orleans, you get it first. We're seeing some showers right now. I 10 we're seeing the rain northbound here in Mississippi. Also into Birmingham, you're going to see the rain. But again, a morning afternoon event for you and then it's going to start to clear up. Al. All right, Steph, thank you so much. Uh, one of our own got to see the fury of Mother Nature up close. Eric Fisher was in Plum Island, Massachusetts, and some of the pictures coming out of there, the video was unbelievable. Eric Fisher now was there, joins us, and he talks about what he just had to be some amazing stuff. Eric, I got to tell you, you did a great job, but uh, seeing some of the fury and the damage that Triton brought was pretty amazing. Uh, thank you, Al. I really appreciate it. And it's uh, the power of water. I mean, it astounds you what it can do in a short amount of time. You had the fierce winds, the waves, and it ripped the first home off its foundation and partially pulled it into the ocean on Friday. Then, not even 24 hours later, another home toppled over on Plum Island. This is just north of Boston. And as NECN reporter Scott Yunt reports, it's an issue threatening many other oceanfront homes on this barrier island. The demolition is heartbreaking, and it's far from over. Because it's caused so much damage, uh, I think they're going to react now, uh, but it's a little bit too late for a lot of people. Some Plum Island residents are simply giving in. Storm surges and 300 yards of beach erosion have given many residents on Annapolis Way no choice. Two homes have been taken down after the storm ripped them from their foundations, and a third is now on the list, Thomas Nee's dream house. 42,000 in the last two weeks just 
we poured concrete, we put piles in, and it took them away like there were straws. Next door, the Connors home is in danger too, built on pilings, but it might not be enough. You know, he's fairly in good shape, but I think his next now, investment's gonna be a boat. You're gonna need a boat. As the homes come down, it creates more problems for the residents who remain. When this house is gone, that water's coming. You take out the road, and there's a sewer system here. Right. When Once it comes over here and takes that out, then the, the, whole, the whole island, they'll shut the whole island down. Nee is packing up for a move to California. Emotionally, he's over his sadness, he claims. Still, this was his home for nearly 30 years. We're going to save the garage. I'm going to put a sign up, make me an offer if you dare. <laughs> he's obviously in pretty good spirits considering I asked him about the piano in the house which he said they couldn't save he joked that maybe like on the Titanic they'll be playing the piano as the ship goes down on Plum Island I'm Scott Yant NECM Scott thank you we want to show you some pictures about what that looked like before the house fell in this is the home that's in the ocean you can see there's a deck there you can walk out to the beach on top of a dune that dune was 20 feet tall you walk down the dune to the beach and then you had 100 yards of beach so a tremendous change in this picture is just a couple years ago so all this happened in very short order from a number of big coastal storms look at how much beach is there compared to what we see today with the water right up against some of those homes. So Al, you know, a lot of people have been asking, why does someone live right next to the water like that? And the answer is they didn't live right next to the water like that. They lost a tremendous amount of their beach and they just couldn't fathom that it would happen so quickly. Yeah, and, and Eric, this is a, a, a situation and a concern that people up and down the Eastern seaboard are now going to have to face. And uh, there are no easy answers, obviously. Eric Fisher, thank you so much. Want to keep you caught up on all your travel troubles for the day? Let's turn to Jen Carfagno with what's going on on the road and in the air. Al, good morning. Your good news today, we don't have many travel issues to start, but I think they're going to creep up pretty quickly. Watching the rain heading into Atlanta by this afternoon, Cleveland and Chicago, possible delays at the airports. Haven't seen a lot of cancellations out there, maybe one or two or three on the order of that. And Chicago is the place where you're going to see them. All right, here we go with what's happening on the roadways. Detroit, look at these temperatures. 50 right now. You got a sloppy mess on the roads because you got rain coming down, but you know the roads are always salty in Michigan and it's going to be real sloppy on your car this morning. We take you out on 94. Already have seen some accidents on the roadways. The key here is that throughout the day, temperatures are going to be falling off in Chicago, topping out only at 38 for today. Could see some wet snow mixing with the rain. Won't see any significant accumulation there. A couple of flurries rounding out your day in Minneapolis. And then we go to the rain in Cleveland. We're going to be watching for showers here as well. Mild morning temperatures dropping this afternoon. And more coming up on Wake Up With Al. We'll track the tumbling temperatures behind Winter Storm Triton and the warming trend coming your way. Plus, we're going to talk about tornado safety. Sunrise.